Hello friends. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss the concept of process switching or also called as the, the context switching. So before going into the depth of process switching or context switching, first we have, we have to understand a term called as context. So we, all, uh, we have to understand what is this context. So it is nothing but the stuff on the CPU which needs to be saved so that CPU can restart its execution at the current point at some later time. which is generally uh, usually you know after an interrupt so it is the stuff on the CPU which needs to be shared so that CPU can restart execution at the current point at some later time means uh, it is a part of the process suppose the process is running and generally and uh, you know uh, uh, an interrupt occurs so the process has to stop immediately so the part of process which is executed till now that needs to be saved at some uh, uh, at some uh, you know location so that when we restart the uh, execution of that process again then it can re uh, restart its execution at the current state whatever its uh, state till now so switching or context switching is nothing but the switching between runnable processes means remove the running process which is currently running in the CPU and replace it replace it with another runnable process which needs to be executed right now so removing the running process and replacing it with the another runnable process this act is called as switching so for that CPU you know uh, follow certain steps for it so what are those steps these steps are first the CPU enters the privileged state privileged state or you can say authorized state so that it can terminate uh, or it can stop the execution of current process then step number two copy the register values copy the register values to a safe place which we just called as at a, at a, uh, it as the context safe place we it is generally a stack in the memory third step it loads the registers for new context new context means next process which is going to execute and at last re-enter user state so that 
this that particular process can be executed so to understand that we are going to you know, explain it with the help of a diagram which is called as the process switching diagram it is represented like suppose we have a process p0 which is currently executing and we have another process say process p1 which needs to be executed as we know whether it is as uh, uh, in the processor only uh, one process can execute at a, at the single time it is assumed so if we consider that this particular process is currently executing that p0 is executing in in this particular time this p1 process is is what idle that it is not executing now suppose p0 got an interrupt from the operating system then its context must be saved so i am going to show this as os interrupt or if it is an programmatic part then it is also called as system call then in such time in this time the process will you know save its state save its state or context into its pcb so i am denoting it with pcb not this process is still in idle condition while it is getting saved this process is you know as it is saving its context so this is also in idle situation then after its saving whatever was the state of pcb1 it will be restored from pcb one pcb1 is the uh, process control block is for p1 so as it it will be restored this process starts executing so till now it was idle and from now onwards it will start executing okay suppose after some time this p1 got an interrupt so you know it will save its state into pcb1 and during this time it will remain idle and up to this time this process is keeping itself in idle situation not uh, doing nothing now suppose process p0 wants to execute again so it will reload its state from where it has saved its uh, its state into pcb0 so it will reload its its state information from pcb0 and it will start 
is its execution from here so it is in executing mode so it will start its execution from here so its state is executing while it is still you know idle and during this whole whole phenomena that is from this to this it will be in idle state so this is the phenomena of process switching or context switching due to an interrupt or system call that if we have two processes p0 and p1 which wants to execute simultaneously but uh, in the operating system at a particular moment of time only one process will execute so if if p0 is executing p1 is idle and when p p0 got an interrupt it will save its state into or context into its process control block and during this time if we uh, uh, watch it closely during this time none of the process that is p0 p0 or p1 is executing so this particular time is called as the idle time for the processor that no one no process is executing and when p1 uh, wants to start its, its execution it will restore its state from sorry restore its state from pcb1 and starts executing when it got an interrupt then it will again uh, save its state into pcb1 and this is idle time and when p1 p0 wants to execute it will reload its, uh, its state from pcb0 and starts its execution so this is the phenomena of process switching in in which at a particular moment of time only one process executes while other process keeps it itself idle thank you